Yeah. Organic Chem Part 2. Robinson Annulations. Here we go. Robinson annulation, Michael Aldol condensation, basic condition deprotonation. This is the basis of the mechanism. Walk into chem lab, what up? I got a strong base, need a methyl vinyl ketone and a ketone. Michael addition time base deprotonates. The alpha carbon gets a charge negative. Now this becomes an enolate. Which, not to our surprise, resonates, which allows the formation of a double bond attacking one four position of the methyl vinyl ketone. Robinson annulation, Michael Aldol condensation, basic condition deprotonation. This is the basis of the mechanism. The now newly formed is a nice double bond. Scraps H from water. The step is now over, and we form a carbonyl one more time. But the base deprotonates, it's just on its grind. The alpha carbon loses H, gains minus charge, resonates for the second time, thus far. Now for intramolecular aldol reaction. This step ain't meant to be a distraction. Doing this mechanism is an addiction. Cracks makes perfect. This is way too easy. I've mastered this part of organic chemistry. Robinson annulation. Michael aldol condensation. Basic condition deprotonation. This is the basis of the mechanism. Intramolecular aldol needs dicarbonyl compounds. Oh, looky here. There are two ketone groups. By losing the H, we have an enolate, which attacks right at the ketone group. Forms a loop like a cyclic structure. Favors five to six carbon ring mixtures. Not always, though. This is just a little gesture. Gaining H from water makes an alcohol. There's just a few more steps, people. That ain't all. Base now removes the alpha proton, favoring of an E2 elimination. OH leaves, and we get an enone. That's the final product of an annulation. Now that we are done with this mechanism, bring on what's next in the organic chem nation. Yeah.